fuzzy bunnies. Scientifically proven. Oh wow. I don't think that was a legit science experiment. 50% of the time it works every time. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, this is not a magic trick. <laughs> and before your very eyes, the plate is gone. Where are we going? going? To the yeah. graveyard and Allie's put her shaft fly in the floods. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited because last night we actually failed at doing this yeah. because somebody got a little too chicken shit. You are like both scared but Heather turned around and ran back. Like physically ran. You gotta get this all set up. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So then you can stand next to me and we can both be in the shot. Hey, I like that. Yeah, cool. So yeah, we're going to go to the haunted Native American graveyard, which isn't really haunted because I've never seen anything spooky happen there. But when we tried to go last night, we saw some animal eyes in the woods and a couple of people got scared. And so we came back. We're going to go in the daytime. And this is my dad's house. I grew up here. Why it's the exactly haunted is there chair. A chair there? Anyways, I want to hear the story. <laughs> but the story behind that chair, yeah, is that it was in my apartment when I lived with Cody. Yeah. And then when I moved out of there, I brought it here, and my mom wanted it. It is a decent chair, but my aunt's got like a really sensitive nose, and I guess it being out here where it's more humid, by the way, she decided that it smells bad. So when my dad bought his new chair. They wanted to get rid of that one, but it didn't fit in the car, so now it's just yeah. a big driveway. It's pretty cool. It's for some B-roll. Especially since we're on like a native reserve and <laughs> to Bocage Park. Park. Wow, that was Stay nice. at night, have a rest, catch a dream. Also, it is possible to outrun the speed limit on this street, right. which is awesome. So we're at the haunted graveyard and, well, haunted. The old graveyard, Native American graveyard. And Allie's raised a very good question of why there's one grave that's not in the rest of it. Yeah, there's the sides that up. That's what we're doing. Can I just also say that that grave is sinking in? Lots of them are. What happens is when the when the graves get like quite old, the coffins rot through, and the cavity of the inside of the coffin caves in. Oh, that tree's gone. So then the ground sinks down. So if we were to walk around in here, there's a lot of graves that have holes in them, so watch your step. There used to be a lot more graves in here, just like unmarked crosses. Yeah, they've been replacing them. Because I'm telling you, that used to be row on row on row. Like the whole thing's full. There's just not markers anymore. One night, we came here, and uh, the, that big cross in the middle had not been here before. And I'd been here like a few days prior to coming that time. And it was really, really dark and we showed up and we shined a flashlight into the graveyard and there was suddenly this massive cross out of nowhere that scared the crap out of everybody. <laughs> it got put up like overnight. It's not like nobody comes here anymore. There's usually a few fresh flowers every spring, and somebody comes and mows it. Chicks to be in it. I have no idea. There's raspberries growing in this graveyard, and I'm eating them. <laughs> Your face is pretty good right now. Don't even. <laughs> Nobody approves. No, I don't. What? Wait, how do you feel about graveyard raspberries? Not a fan. Yeah. Are that was the graveyard. It's a pretty cool shot here. What the fuck? Oh, dragonfly. <laughs> I was just like, what the? Oh gosh. There's too much crazy. wildlife for these people. <laughs> Running away from dogs slash bears. They're like the most weird, useless creatures. They come around in like the millions once every year. And terrorize the city and then they go away. And they stink. Oh, oh, God. God. The corpses, there's so many of them.
And they only live for like a day. So the fact that they only live for a day and there are that many is grotesque. Can I actually tell you a story that one time I wrote to the band NSYNC and I may have actually sent them a bag with a shampoo in it so they could see it. <laughs> they never wrote back. They hatch and then they are in the water for a few days or something and then they turn into like these flying things and I think they come out red or white one of the colors white. and then they shed a couple times and get bigger and then they die because they have no mouth and they can't eat Ugh. if shad flies evolved a mouth there's no way I would stay living here nope there's literally millions of them Otto actually has them now too apparently they're a sign of healthy waterways so yep. that's good I think that's a lie. Someone just, <laughs> Someone just came up with that so that we would feel better about having bugs. Like, why? A the plague mirror. every year. I think it makes sense though. Like, it means like. That your water's clean enough for them to breed in. Yeah. You sent a dead shadfly to InSync? Cool. Yeah, I did. That's awesome. That's probably the best shadfly story. That is definitely the best yeah. shadfly story. Ah! Yeah. One ran into my eye. <laughs>